6th grade, module 2, lesson 5, problem set. Number 1. How many sixteenths are in 15 sixteenths? So we have 15 sixteenths divided by 1 sixteenth. Or we could say 15 sixteenths, if we wanted to write it out, divided by 1 sixteenth would be equal to we can these cancel each other out. 15 divided by 1 is equal to 15. So there would be 15 of them. Number 2. How many 1 fourth teaspoon doses are in 7 eighth teaspoon of medicine? So we have 7 eighths, and we want to see how many 1 fourths teaspoons are in there. So the first thing we need to do is find a common denominator. So I'm going to do that by listing the multiples of 8 and 4. And I can see that I have 8. So I can just leave 7 eighths alone and I'm going to make 1 fourth into eighths. Times 2 times 2, that gets us 2 eighths. So we have 7 eighths divided by 2 eighths. Or if we were to write it out, So these cancel each other out, and we have 7 divided by 2, which is equal to 7 halves. And if we were to make that back into a mixed number, 2 goes into 7 3 times, and we would have 1 left over out of 2. So it's equal to 3 and a half there, 3 and a half 1 fourth teaspoon doses. Number 3, how many 2 thirds cup servings are in a 4 cup container of food? So we have four cups, and we're going to know how many two-thirds cups we can get out of that, how many servings there are. So right now we have four over one, but we need to have a common denominator. So I'm going to turn four over one into something over three. So I'll make this times three. So now I can do twelve-thirds divided by two-thirds, and I'll get... 6. So it's equal to 6 servings. Number 4. Write a measurement division story for 6 divided by 3 fourths. Okay, so I'm going to say, let's use miles. So I'll say, I walked 3 fourths miles each day until I had walked a total of six miles. How many days did I walk? So here we'd have to do six divided by three-fourths and I'm going to make 6 over 1 into fourths, which means I need to multiply by 4. So I get 24 fourths divided by 3 fourths, which would be equal to 8 over 1, or 8 days would be the answer to my division story problem. Number 5, write a measurement division story problem for 5 twelfths divided by 1 sixth. So I'm going to do one about pies again. So I'll say I have 5 twelfths pounds of strawberries each pie requires 1 sixth pound. How many pies can I make? And if we want to actually find the answer, first we need to find a common denominator for 12 and 6, which would be 12. So I can leave 5 twelfths alone. And 1 sixth would be 2 twelfths. So we have 5 twelfths divided by 
two twelfths, which would be end up being five divided by two, or five halves, and that is equal to two and a half. So I can make two and a half pies. Number six, fill in the blank to complete the equation. Then find the quotient and draw a model to support your solution. One half divided by five is equal to one over something of one half. So remember, we were doing this a few lessons back. So one half divided by five is the same thing as one fifth of one half. And of means times, so we can just multiply and get one tenth. And if we wanted to draw and show that, we were doing one half divided by five. So there's one half, and if we were to divide it by five, we would have this little section right there, but then out of the total, we would have one shaded in out of 10, out of the whole. 3 fourths divided by 6, so that would be the same as 1 something of 3 fourths, or times 3 fourths, and this would turn into 1 sixth, which would get us 3 20 fourths, or 1 eighth, and if we wanted to model that, we have 3 fourths, I'll shade in three fourths divided by six. Let me use a different color. So I'm going to split each of those into six. So now I have twenty seven pieces, twenty six. 24 pieces because I split the four sections each into six, so that's 24 pieces. And if I were to take um, one of each of them, because I was dividing them by six, I would get three shaded in out of the total 24. Number seven, four-fifths of the money collected from a fundraiser was divided equally among eight grades. What fraction of the money did each grade receive? So we have four-fifths was divided equally among eight, which is the same as saying four-fifths times one-eighth. So we would get four fortieths, and if we reduce that, we can divide both of these by four we would get one tenth. So each grade received one tenth of the money. Eight, Meyer used six loads of gravel to cover two fifths of his driveway. How many loads of gravel will he need to cover the entire driveway? So I think this is the easiest to look at in a tape diagram. So he covered two fifths of his driveway And that was six loads, which means that each of these would be equal to three loads. So then all of these were also three loads. And we want to know how many loads of gravel we need to cover his entire driveway. Well, that would be three times five is 15 loads. Number nine, an athlete plans to run three miles. Each lap around the schoolyard is three sevenths of a mile. How many laps will the athlete run? So they're taking three miles. Each lap is three sevenths of a mile. So if I wanted to solve this, what I would do is I'd turn three into sevenths. So I do that by multiplying by 7 over 7, and I'll get 21 sevenths divided by 3 sevenths, and 21 sevenths, 21 divided by 3 is 7, 
over one, so he would run seven laps. Number 10. Parks spent one third of his money on a sweater. He spent three fifths of the remainder on a pair of jeans. If he has $36 left, how much did the sweater cost? Okay, so he spent a third on the sweater and three fifths of the remainder. So remember, of, of always jumps out to me because I know that's times. So three fifths times the remainder. If he spent one third, then what was left, three thirds, the whole minus one third, the remainder would be two thirds. So we're gonna do three fifths times two thirds to figure out the genes. Sorry. Okay, three fifths times two thirds would be equal to six fifteenths. So that is the genes. He has thirty if he has thirty six dollars left, how much did the sweater cost? Alright, so we know that he maybe it might be better if we drew a picture here. So we know he spent one third of his money on a sweater, and now since we're talking in fifteenths, let's make the one third into fifteenths. So the sweater is five fifteenths. The jeans are a little bit more. They were six fifteenths. And he has thirty six dollars left, which would be equal to five fifteenths plus six fifteenths is equal to 11 fifteenths. So 11 fifteenths plus what would get us the whole? That would be 4 fifteenths. So 4 fifteenths of his money is equal to $36. So if we wanted to scale that down to figure out how much 1 fifteenth of his money is, we can, we just divide it by four. So let's divide by four. 36 divided by four would be equal to $9. So if one fifteenth is equal to nine dollars. Remember the end goal here is we want to know how much the sweater costs. So the sweater costs five fifteenths. So five fifteenths would be equal to nine dollars times five or forty-five dollars. So the sweater cost forty-five dollars.